This is Twit. So in our own back channels here, um, there are questions about bridges, and you actually have a page on bridges, which I'm sure Ant can bring up on screen in a second. Um, and interoperating with all these, all of these different things. And I'm wondering, the question I have about it is, um, if you can bridge to all these other things that are probably in some ways more brand familiar than, than is Matrix, does Matrix get lost in that? So there are really two questions there. How, how does the bridging work? And um, how do we even know what's happening, I suppose, is another thing. And that may not be a problem. Um, and, is that a, and is that a risk that you just become kind of a, not so much a back end, but invisible um, to, to end users who we would like to, you know, we'd like to have branding happen here too, right? Honestly, it's a result if people use Matrix to bridge together different platforms and they're not even aware they're using Matrix, that's fine by us because it's just opening up those silos, those walled gardens and giving the users the openness and the ability to communicate with other platforms or to build or use other systems on top of those communities. And people use them a lot. I mean, we see bridging as a first class citizen in Matrix. In fact, it's the reason why Matrix is called Matrix, because it is a matrix in which different things communicate to one mm -hmm. another in a kind of X by Y or N by M sort of set of um, things talking to each other. Um, it's Then again, it's always going to be a bit of a compromise because there's always going to be some feature that, I don't know, Discord has or Slack has that the other guy doesn't. And it might be something that isn't natively in Matrix, although, as we said, Matrix is incredibly extensible. Um, so if we've done our job right, it should be expressible in Matrix. But it doesn't mean that, I don't know, if I'm talking from WhatsApp to Telegram, and I know Telegram sends me some funky thing that just doesn't exist in WhatsApp yet, like some sticker or whatever. Uh, what are we going to do um, to bridge it over? And to answer your questions about how they work, it's a mix of open APIs that we connect through to. Um, so for instance, Slack has an open API that we integrate against. And um, it gives a pretty rich experience, allowing you to send and receive messages and threads and reactions and edits and typing notifications and all that good stuff, such that the people on the Slack side will not realize that they're actually talking to somebody on Matrix or perhaps somebody on another system in turn, which is bridged into Matrix. And likewise, the people on Matrix just won't care that they're talking to people on Slack. And in terms of the risk of matrix getting lost in the noise when this happens, um, often what we see is that the balance kind of tilts over time. The very first um, Slack bridge we ever did was for the Decentralized Web Summit, which is a great event um, that the Internet Archive has arranged um, since 2016. And we just launched the Slack bridge that year, and they set up on Slack. And we said, guys, you can't run a decentralized web summit and communicate via Slack, the most centralized comm system there is. Please, can we bridge it to Matrix? And they said, yeah, sure, whatever. And we started off with like a handful of people on the Matrix side using it and everybody else on Slack. But then as the years have gone by, more and more people have just kind of absentmindedly, almost automatically moved over to the Matrix side. And nowadays, the balance is like 95% um, there. Likewise, we see this when people bridge to Discord or IRC, that sure, there's going to be some people who just blindly use Discord or IRC and are happy with it. But um, people actually kind of like Matrix when they start playing with it and where they realize just how open and fun it is and they move over to it. And you see that the balance of conversation often does shift to native Matrix. But if it doesn't, that's cool too. The whole point is to make it um, optional on what platforms people use to communicate. And if some people want to stick out on IRC, that's fine. And if some people just really like Discord or don't know better, then that's fine too. And that is why the Floss Weekly Discord should be bridged to Matrix. 